What's going on, Hustle Fam? Welcome back here to another Pristine Vending video. So today I'm getting into the one month collections for four of my machines, three locations for the month of April. We're about a week into May, so it's definitely time to get these machines serviced. And as you can see behind me, I have three of my machines pre-kitted already. And in case you didn't catch it in my last video, pre-kitting is the act of preparing the snacks that's going into the machines ahead of time. And that makes it much quicker on a vendor. So, so like I said, I got three totes for three of my machines. And then the sodas that I'm filling up, I don't really need a tote. I'm going to just have those stacked on top of each other on a hand truck. So that's going to be simple enough. So in this video, we're going to be trying something new. I've been getting a lot of comments from you guys asking me to go into more details about my expenses on my refill. So that way you'll be able to tell my profit. So what I'm going to do this video is I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm putting into each machine for the refill, which is my expense. That way on the next video, when I go to collect the money, we'll be able to subtract that expense from the total money made. And then that'll give us our profit, which is our net income. So like I said, we got everything pre-kitted in the back. I got a few of the sodas from Sam's Club yesterday. And now we are at Food Lion, my local grocery store. You may not be able to see it to pick up the other flavor sodas. I only picked up the Cokes, Mountain Dews, and the Pepsis from Sam's Club because the local grocery store I'm at doesn't have a current sale and it was just cheaper there. So I'm gonna get the other sodas I need now. So I'll meet y'all in there. And y'all already know how we treat these germs. Gotta keep them off us. So after we get this car a good wipe down, I'll meet y'all in the soda aisle. Okay, so they're having a sale today. Just yesterday, they were not on sale, so that made me go ahead and buy my main sodas from Sam's Club. But that's all right. I'll get my other flavors now, and I'll show you the price per can on screen. So we have all our flavors they were looking for in the cart, so let's check up out of here and get back to the truck. And I forgot that I also picked up some Gatorades, which is 75 cent a bottle. And here we are at my first location, which is the church slash community center. So here's the tote for this location. And in it, I have $80.85 worth of product. So once I get in here to the machine, I'm going to add up the value of the products that's already in there. And then add it with the $80.85 worth of products in this one. And then that total number will give us the total value of the products inside the machine once I leave. So on my next collection video, we'll subtract the total of what's sold from what we're putting in now. And then that number will give us our total profit made from this machine. So let's get in there and see how much this vending machine made for the month of April. got your coin back and we can see in this one hold on let me turn my light on all right so we can see in this coin mech that the quarters are way down here so we got to fill it all the way to the top that might take about ten dollars a whole roll so we'll be right back so we went through a whole roll of quarters and three dollars extra in quarters and it brought it to the top right there so now we're good get everything wrapped up and get on to the truck so this vending machine is left with $123.49 worth of product after this refill and I almost forgot a snack on top of the vending machine instead of going through the hassle of putting it up this is what I tend to do instead all right hustle fam we're back here at the truck so I'm gonna go through all the numbers at the end of the video. So y'all stay tuned with me for that. I'm gonna get on to my second location, which is also a community center slash church. So I'll meet y'all there. And here we are at my second location. So it's a snack machine inside of here. So this is our first location tote, which is empty. And this tote here is for this location. And in here, we have a total of $80.45 worth of products. So we're gonna empty out the entire container and like I did on my last vending machine, we're gonna count up all the products that's currently in this machine. And we're gonna add the total value of those products with the total value of the products in the tote, which is the $80.45. And 
And that way on our next cash collection here, we'll know exactly what's profit. So we're gonna go ahead and get this loaded up and head inside and I'll meet y'all at the machine. Before we get into this next machine, y'all let me know y'all still rocking with me by leaving me a happy hustles down in the comments. All right, let's get back to it. And now we check the coin mech on this vending machine. And the quarters and the rest of the change on this one will be fine until my next visit. So I'm leaving this vending machine with a total product value of $88.48 after refill. And here we are back at the truck from our second location. So we used up the whole $80.45 worth of products in the tote for this location. So now we're gonna go ahead and get on to our third location, which has a snack machine and a drink machine. So that makes two vending machines. And this is our final location. I'll meet y'all there. So we made it to our third location. And the drink machine at this location, I haven't filled up at all last month. So it's a load of sodas I gotta bring in here with me, but I'll meet y'all at the machines. If you're in the market for a new credit card reader, be sure to take advantage of my NYX discount code, PRISTINEVIN. You'll find a code and a link in the description. Sheesh, I really gotta get that extension so I can stop almost yanking this machine apart every time I open this door. So now all I gotta do is reconnect these cords and I can go and lock this machine up. So I'm leaving this vending machine with a total product value of $53.44. And check out that beautiful touchscreen car already. Y'all don't forget to take advantage of that discount code in the description. That wraps up here at our third location. So we're gonna get back to the lab, go over these numbers, and we're gonna see how much all four of these vending machines brought in for the month of April. Stay with me. All right, Hustle fam, we made it back to the lab and I got all three of my bags from four of my vending machines. But before we bust open this first bag, I wanna send a special thanks to my Hustle fam member, Max Mills, for catching this mistake in my last video. Location snack machine, it brought in $50 in bills, $80 in change for a total of $98.80. Now that that's out of the way, let's get into these totals. So my last video was also a collection video for this month. So I'm gonna add those totals to these new totals to give us the total for this month. So here we have bag A for our first location, which is a snack machine. So on my last collection video, I pulled in $56.85 from this machine. This go around, I pulled out $51.20. So the total for this month from this machine is $108.05. And here we have bag B, which you can tell is our heftiest bag. This is from our second location, which is also a snack machine. So on my last collection video, I pulled out $130 from this machine. This go around, I pulled out $268. So the total made from this machine this month is $398. Here we have bag C, which is from our third and final location for the day. This is a two vending machine location, a snack machine and a drink machine. And my last collection video from both of these machines, I pulled out $131.50. This go around, I pulled out $58. So the total made from both of these machines for this month is $189.50. 
So that brings the grand total for the month of April from these four vending machines to $794.35. What's going on, Hustle fam? We're here at my favorite local corner store. It's a chain shortage in my area right now, so this is how I help out the community in my area. So I take all the change rolls that I collected and organized, I bring them into my favorite corner store and exchange them for the bills that fold. So now that I got all my coins rolled up for the month, I bring them down to my favorite corner store and exchange them for the bills that fold. So let's get in there and do it. Back here with the cash. See how easy that was? And they really appreciate that. So not only are you helping the business owner, but you're also helping yourself by networking with the business owner. You never know when that can come in handy. And y'all come here and check this out. I'm going through the money, putting it up and check out what I found. I'll go through all my bills every time I collect it and look for this little star. That is called a star note. If you find a star note, you never know. It can be worth more than the actual denomination that's on that bill. So depending on what kind of star note this is, this can easily be worth more than $20. So I collect all my star notes. That's just a little FYI for you. Hey, I appreciate y'all for rocking with me again on this video. Make sure y'all check me out in my next video and I'll meet y'all there. As always, happy hustles. really from the bottom of the map. I don't want to hurt no doubt. Right there might get you whack. One false move might get you whack. Put a hole straight through your cap. Get no cap. I am that A. Like the alphabet. Just know I get aggressive. Don't like drama. Don't like stressing. Don't like liars. Don't like teachers. Neither cause they used to test me. But however, I'm still living through the. It is a blessing. Stay prayed up and keep my weapons. Stay prayed up and keep my weapons. Yeah.